What is going on YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a look at the iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely going to be revolutionary. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my reaction to some of the new things that they have and uh, just the hype that's about to be coming with this phone. This phone is going to change a lot. It's definitely going to set the standard for the next 10 years or so. Um, and this is a very exciting time because I grew up loving technology. So seeing this new iPhone is really just kindling that flame back into my love for technology. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the video up right here and we're gonna take a look at it. For more than a decade, our intention has been to create an iPhone that is all display. A physical object that disappears into the experience. This is iPhone 10. All right, so from the first looks, it's definitely a flat slab, nothing but screen on the front. So there's no buttons on the front of the screen. Um, I definitely think that they were taking hints from Samsung there, or maybe they wanted to go in that direction anyway. I think most phones are trying to go in that direction of no buttons on the front at all and fully screen. So it's nice to see Apple come out with a device that is nothing but screen. So as we can see on the sides, it's just the volume buttons and the um, mute switch, uh, nothing new. Developing the form and display together defines a whole new integration, making the boundary between the device and the screen hard to discern. The custom OLED panel was engineered to fold and seamlessly combine with the external surfaces. Mechanical buttons give way to touch and gestures. There's no home button. So if you take a look at that lock screen, that is sick. That looks so sleek. It has that big unlock at the top that lets you know if the screen is unlocked or not. So that looks pretty dope. Um, I like the new lock screen. I like how the screen goes all the way up to the edges right here. That looks pretty dope as well. Single swipe takes you to the home screen. So swiping up is going to be the new home button. I think that is a dope idea. Before Apple released this video, a lot of people were kind of pondering how they're gonna like, where's the home button? Like, how are you gonna do that? So having gestures is a pretty nice way. I'm wondering if it's gonna be tactile feedback or if any type of vibration when you go ahead and do that swipe. Um, I think they should include something like that because it'll just feel a lot more premium in the hand. A more responsive touch system means the gestures. Take a look at the panels. So what I noticed from Jump is that the corners are a lot more rounded. If you take a look at my iPhone, the tasks are a lot more squared off. But if you take a look at the video, um, you can see that it's a lot more rounded. So um, aesthetics, I guess. Gestures in iOS 11 are more fluid. The polished stainless steel band reinforces the water resistant all glass design. This new glass formulation, the most durable ever in a smartphone, enables for... I really like the animation for the wireless charging. How when you plop something down on the wireless charger, it like brings up a little like video of what you just placed on the mat. That looks pretty cool. The first time, wireless charging. And then you can see all the things that are charging and then the percent for everything. That is just awesome. That is like a nice way to see what percent everything is on instead of having to pick up each device and checking if it's fully charged or not. So Apple, that is unique and really dope. Our new True Depth camera system. So let's pause it here where they have the stats for these cameras. A seven megapixel camera and that looks to be in the front. So there's a seven megapixel camera in the front. So this 6S is a five megapixel front facing camera. And on the iPhone 10, it's gonna be a seven megapixel camera. So that is a huge jump up front facing camera wise. So there's a dot projector, seven megapixel camera, a microphone in the front, the speaker, um, ambient light sensor, flood illuminator, flood illuminator, proximity sensor, and infrared camera. So it looks to be that there's two cameras. One is an infrared and one is a regular camera. I'm curious to see what that flood illuminator does. Uh, maybe we'll have future videos on that one. So let's keep going. 
contained within this tiny space, uses extraordinary depth sensing technology to let you unlock your phone with a glance. Take a look at that. She's at the pool, the phone is laying flat, and it's about at this angle right here, or something like this. That's, that's pretty nice. If your phone can unlock that well, then that is a very, very nice improvement to anything that we've seen so far. It would be really cool if it had that little laser beam coming out too, but I think that's just the animation. We call this Face ID. It maps the unique geometry of your face with over 30,000 invisible dots. This data is analyzed by the neural engine on the A11 Bionic chip, the first of its kind. Your iPhone now recognizes you, even in the dark, and will adapt to your physical changes. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of tests to see how well that does unlocking your phone in the dark. Um, I mean, it's not impossible, but how dark can it get? Uh, that is a great question that we need to ask. This makes your face your secure password. So with just a look, you can authenticate your phone or use Apple Pay. The True Depth camera also enables new experiences, like bringing emojis to life by mapping more than 50 facial muscles in real time. So you that is dope. Bringing emojis to life is something that I don't think anybody expected. Using your phone to talk as an emoji and to be able to send that to people, that is going to be revolutionary. Uh, I don't know how much I'll be using something like that, but um, it definitely looks like something that's unique and uh, only Apple will have. You can be happy or sad or cross. Both the front and rear facing cameras now have portrait mode and for the first time you can actually define the light in a scene. Based on fundamental photographic principles, portrait lighting produces the effect. Portrait mode when it came to the iPhone 7s um, was amazing. Like people loved it. It made pictures that people posted look so much better. Now that it's on the front facing camera, that is awesome. Having a front facing portrait mode, that's gonna give some great photos. Like I can already tell from this video that front facing portrait is gonna be something that people are gonna be using heavily. Take a look at that blackout in the background. That studio performance. It looks amazing. Of real studio lighting. On the back, that the dual camera really system nice. is completely redesigned. So let's pause it here on the back. Seems to be there's a 12 megapixel camera, um, dual optical image stabilization, quad LED, true tone flash, deeper pixels, new color filter, larger and faster sensor, and another 12 megapixel aperture telephoto lens. The technology is on beast mode. Like, we're starting to see that cameras are getting a lot smaller. Like, to have that many uh, small specs and details in something that you can carry in your pocket is going to revolutionize the photography game and it's going to revolutionize just video quality and cameras in general. It's made even smarter by the A11 Bionic chip. With machine learning, the camera detects elements in the scene to optimize the image before the photo is even taken. The camera we use every day now delivers so much more. And as iOS becomes the world's largest platform for all... That augmented reality, I don't know how useful it's going to become. Uh, maybe you'll have applications that are dedicated for stuff like that. But it um, seems to be just a cool party trick. Augmented reality, it will redefine what's possible. 
This is iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 is going to be amazing. I love the video by Apple. I loved everything about just the packaging, how it looks. Um, it definitely kept that rounded feel from the iPhones. I really like that feeling that it has in the hand. This is just definitely a phone that we've all been waiting for. Uh, it's going to push all the mobile devices in a direction that is just super high end. Um, I didn't see any pricing on here, but I'm sure it's going to be costing a bunch of money um, off contract. Hopefully one day I can pick it up and do a full review for you guys. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Join the family. Leave a comment on what your favorite feature is on the new iPhone. And I'll see you guys in the next video.